Hello everyone. So welcome back to at another session of our uh, question discussion. So guys, we will be discussing some unique and very important previous year questions in this session. So I request all of you to join in this live session on time so that we can start our discussion. Yeah. All right. Yes. Guys, let us wait some more minutes to join everyone so that we can start our discussion. Let's wait some more moments. All right. Yes, who joined? So, guys, those who joined in this live session, kindly come to the com kindly come into the uh, come to the comment box, chat box, so and introduce yourself so that only so that I can know who joined. Yeah. All right. So guys, in this session, we will be discussing about the PYQs. So from 2017, so from 2012 to 2017. Okay, so I took five year question papers frequently. So sequentially, I took five year question papers of EGC net English literature from both paper two and paper three. Okay, from both paper two and paper three. And I have ordered some or oh, some most important See, we can see some questions are repeated in 2020 also from 2012 uh, question paper. Some questions are repeated in 2020 20 also, 2020 also. So, so previous year questions are very important. Even though the chances of repeating the questions are very less, but we can expect some important questions as it is. Okay, that's why the question is the, see, the revising or uh, doing the pyqs and a pyq analysis and doing this previous year question paper solving this previous year questions are very important that's why i am asking like that okay yeah Please join everyone, come fast. Yes, Akshay, Deepkesh, Anjali, Akshida. Welcome back to another session. Very good afternoon to all of you. Yeah. Okay, without any delay, we can start our first question. So, your first question is here. Before going to your first question, guys, let me introduce one thing. See, today is the last day for our 50 percentage, a flat 50 percentage of offer valid. Okay, so this offer will be valid. So, today is the last day. So, you can access our 
flat 50 percentage off through our portal through our website through our uh, app also so in order to get this uh, 50 percentage offer today itself just go and visit www.ifasonline.com so in this we have see you can register in this okay in this you can register yeah yeah so guys am i audible yes so you can uh, you can access this offer right now okay use this promo code ifas50 use this promo code ifas50 so that you can access our offer flat 50 percentage off okay so moving towards the first question of your previous year question paper that is to refer to the unres unresolvable difficulties, a text many open up that the makes use of term. So to refer to the unresolvable difficulties, a text may open up there the makes use of term. So what term does there the use for this? Very good afternoon, Mariam. Very good afternoon. Actually, I was expecting you. So where were you? Yes, this is your first question, Mariam. This is your first question to refer. Yeah, to refer to the unresolvable difficulties of a text. Derida, yes, Derida makes use of the term. What will be the term? Please tell me the answer. So, you have the options here. Option A is aporia. Option B is difference. Option C is erasure. Option D is supplement. Yes, yeah, instant answer I got from Mariam. That is aphoria, right? That is aphoria. All right, let's check the right answer whether it is aphoria or not. Yes, the answer is aphoria. Okay, so the answer for the first question is aphoria yes Sunita, welcome back to another session so very nice to meet you yes Sunita, good afternoon yes the term is aphoria okay the term is aphoria very good yes your next question is here next question so tell me the right answer for this question and the question is who among the following english poet english playwrights okay who among the following english playwrights scripted the film Shakespeare in love. So, who among the following English playwrights scripted the film Shakespeare in love? So, we have the options here. Option A, Harold Pinter. Option B, Alan Bennett. Option C, Carol, that is Carol Churchill. And option D is Tom Stoppard. And option D is what? Option D is Tom Stoppard. Okay. So, what is the answer for this? What is the answer for this question? Yes, tell me. Sunita, Mariam, any idea? Option D, but not sure. Tom Stoppard, okay. Again, Tom Stoppard, okay. Let's see. Yes, it is Tom Stoppard. Tom Stoppard. Yes, it is Tom Stopper, right? Okay, don't worry. So, your third question is here. Third question is, arrange the following in the chronological order. Again, we can see the chronological order. See, chronological order is very important, guys. We have the options, Mary Wollstone Crafts, Vindication of the Rights of Women. Then we have the option, Lyrical Ballads. Then we have the option French Revolution. Then we have the option Percy Relic, per, P.B. Shelley, that is, sorry, yeah, P.B. Shelley's Reliquies of Ancient English Poetry. Yes, tell me the answer for this question. Which comes first, which comes second, which comes third?
yes sunita yes sunita's answer is option b right b214 okay what about mariam what about mariam what is your answer mariam option a right so we have option b option a okay let's check the right answer so right answer is option a okay see let's check we have mary wollstonecraft's vindication of the rights of women that is in the romantic age yes but in the later romantic period right lyrical ballads 1798 french revolution 1789 see this is also in romantic age so this is also in romantic age but anyhow we have to say that relics relics of ancient english poetry is the first okay is the first then we can see what then we can see french revolution which is in 1789 then we can see mary wollstonecraft's work then we can see lyrical ballads so option a is the right times all right okay fine so moving towards the next question which of the following employs a narrative structure in which in which where in which the main action is relayed at second hand through an enclosing frame story which of the following employs a narrative structure in which the main action is relayed at second second hand through an enclosing frame story yes tell me the answers mariam yes we have the options here sons and lovers ulysses is here the power and the glory is here heart of darkness is here yes yes sunita option d yes so both mariam and sunita is going with option d so let me yeah option d heart of darkness is the right answer heart of darkness okay so next question is here the irish dramatic movement was heralded by such figures as what the irish dramatic movement was heralded by such figures see we have the option wb eats is here L lady gregory and edward Mar martin or we have another option of jonathan swift and his contemporaries or we have another option of h drummond edward irving and john irwin or we have the option of oscar wilde and his contemporaries yes sunita option is as okay sunita's option is answer option is yeah sunita's answer is option a right okay all right let's see all right let's see okay mariam sansar is also option a yes irish dramatic movement wb it's is the main proponent of irish dramatic movement right wb it's is the main proponent of irish dramatic movement then lord lady gregory is there then edward martin is also here all right so moving towards the next question so next question is here guys which poem by chaucer was written on the death of blanche wife of john john of gaunt so sunita mariam tell me the answer which poem by chaucer was written on the death of blanche wife of john of gaunt so troilus and cressida the house of fame the book of duchess the legend of good women yes sunita the book of duchess all right okay the book of duchess okay so the answer is yes obviously the answer is book of yes yes mariam book of duchess the book of duchess right yeah next question see in this book of duchess we can see the reference of great plague sorry great plague because because of this great plague only that see the um death of blanche 
happened okay so that's why we can see see the book of duchess we have uh, we have discussed in detail about the book of duchess in our bachelor sessions right sunita so just go through the notes and like we recorded videos okay so moving towards the next question so next question is the tragedy of ferox and porox is the other title of what the tragedy of ferox and porox is the other title of what play we see Gorbadak is here, Ralph Royster Doister is here, Damon and Pythias is here, Lame that is Lamentable Tragedy is here. Tell me the right answer for this guys. Yes, option, option C, okay, so Nida is going with option C, all right. Just a moment. Yeah, all right, so Sunida is going with option C. Okay, so let's see, Ralph Royster, Royster or Gorbadak. See, Gorbadak is the right answer. Okay, Ferex and Porex, another name is, yes, you are with A, okay, Gorbadak, okay, Gorbadak is the right answer, yes, Mariam, Gorbadak is the right answer, yes, okay, Sandra, okay, fine, very good. So, guys, moving towards the next, uh, next uh, thing I have to say about that, so, guys, we are offering you a great offer, so that is, you will get flat 50 percentage off. For every each and every courses that is offered by IFAS. See, if you buy the package right now, you will get flat 50% off for each and every courses that we are going to offer. And for especially for test series. So, see, we, see I said you will get 100 questions from each unit and you will get all the recorded videos of this all the test discussion along with answer and discussions you will get recorded answer and explanations from the faculties along with this test series so don't hesitate to buy this package with a flat 50 percentage off you will get everything on your hand before your examination okay so before your examination you will get everything on your hand so that is very important so that is very important so don't lose this opportunity go and have this opportunity go and grab this opportunity all right perfect okay so moving towards the next question next question is here next question is who of the following poets is australian tell me the answer <clears throat> Who of the following poets is Australian? Tell me the answer. Yeah. We have the options we have the options here see the options are what see the options are option a is option a is what option a is austin clarke option b is yes what is the option b option b is judith Wright, and option c is edwin muir and option d is derek walcott option d is derek walcott so tell me the answer Tell me the answer, guys. Yes. B. B. Okay. Jodid right. Okay. So, 
Yes, Judith. Judith Wright is the right answer. See, diasporic writers, continental writers from modern age, their works, they are very important. Please note down it. Okay. Next question is, he found it. Next question is what? He found it. That is English, English brick and left it marble. So, remarked. So, who remarked? Remarked one great writer on another. Who were they? He found it brick. He found it brick. That is English. It means English. He found English, English brick and left it marble. Yes. Dr. Johnson on Dryden. All right. Any other options? Dr. Johnson on Dryden. Okay. Any other options? Yeah, no idea, no idea, okay, let's see, Dr. Johnson on Dryden, okay, Dr. Johnson on Dryden, that is the answer, all right, so moving towards the next question, see next question is here, the predominant tone and the predominant tone, yeah, tone and thrust of Janathan sits not tan tone tone okay the predominant tone and thrust on Jonathan Sifts a modest proposal are what is comic solemn hot that is hot hot then irony tell me the answer guys okay option D is saying uh, yes irony irony is the right answer ironic uh, statements we can see right okay moving towards the next question see I sit I sit it home I sit in one of the dives on 52nd street uncertain and afraid uncertain and afraid as the clever hopes expire of a low dishonest decade so begins Auden's September 1st, 1939. What is the meaning of the word in italics? What is the meaning of the word in italics? So italics means what? See the uncertain and afraid as the clever hopes expire of a low dishonest decade. That is in italics. So, can you find the answer? See, the answer is night club. Okay, night club. Okay, all right. So, dishonest decade. Dishonest decade means law, dishonest decade means night club. Okay, so moving towards next question. Next question is so, Mariam Sunita. Next question is. C.K. Ogden and I.A. Richards were reputed in 1930s for including what? C.K. Ogden and I.A. Richards. Okay, C.K. Ogden and I.A. Richards were reputed in 1930s for introducing what? Practical criticism, new criticism, standard English project or basic English project. Tell me the answer. Tell me the answer guys. Yes, A. Everyone is going with A. Everyone is going with A. Alright. Okay, let's see. Let's see the answer. The answer is option D, basic English project. Okay, no, not basic English project. No, it is practical criticism. Okay, it is practical criticism. All right, okay. So, next question is, in which of the following works does Mrs. Malaprop appear? In which of the following works does Mrs. Malaprop appear? So, in which work Mrs. Malaprop, that is Malapropism. She is very, very, very 
she is very 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 uh, important malapropism mal so malapros after her after her character only those who uh, yes those who speaks stupid english we can see malapropism we can say malapropism yes so is it in the rivals is it in she troops to conquer or is it in the mysteries of udalpho or is it in the way of the world the rivals right the rivals yes the answer is option a the rivals okay answer is option a the rivals all right so moving towards next question next question is here yeah which of the following statements about christopher marlo are true which of the following statements about Christopher Marlowe are very true? See, Edward II was written in the last year of Marlowe's life or many critics consider Dr. Foster's to be Marlowe's best play or his Spanish tragedy comes a close second or Marlowe was less educated than Shakespeare. Marlowe was less educated than Shakespeare. Yes, tell me the answer. Option D. Okay, option D. That is 3 and 4, right? 3 and 4 are true. C. Yes, his Spanish tragedy comes a close second. C. Are true. Option A. Option D, right? Option D, that is 3 and 4. Uh, okay, who wrote Spanish tragedy? Is it Christopher Marlowe? No, Spanish tragedy is written by Thomas Kidd, right? Thomas Kidd. Okay, so let's see the right answer. A is the right answer. Okay, Edward II is written by Marlowe and many critics consider Dr. Foster's to be Marlowe's best play. See, his Spanish tragedy comes a close second. That is false because Spanish tragedy is written by Thomas Kidd. Then, Marlowe was less educated than Shakespeare. Okay, Marlowe was less. Yes, Marlowe was less. Uh, no, Marlowe was not. See, Shakespeare was less educated than Marlowe because Marlowe was one of the university wits. He educated from Oxford University, right? Yeah. See guys, after this all, we are going to conduct an exam mapping series. For now, for the time being, we are moving with paper 1 exam mapping series. But we will start with geography and commerce also. Apart from paper 1, we will start paper 2 also. And guys, if you need exam mapping series, for English literature, then you can comment in the comment box according to your what need. Yes, according to your need, we will conduct. We will conduct exam mapping series. Okay, we will conduct the exam mapping series of English literature for UGC net. All right. So moving towards the next question. Next question is here. Art for art's sake became a, rely, a rallying cry for which movement? Art for art's sake became a rallying cry for which movement? So, we have the options. The aesthetics, then the symbolist, then the imagist, then the art novio school. The art novio school. Yes, tell me the answer. The aesthetics, art for art sake. Okay, let's check. See, the answer is option A. Yes, the aesthetics. Okay, for aesthetic, it is art for art sake. All right. Yes. So, moving towards the next question. Next question is here. See, confessions of an opium eater. See, confessions of an opium eater is a literary work by whom? Is a literary work by whom? So, we have the options here. Sen Coleridge, P.B. Shelley, Thomas De Quincey, Lord Byron. Confessions of an Opium Eater is a literary work by whom? 
Thomas D. Quincy. Yes, I have already discussed about him, right? That is so Thomas D. Quincy. All right, yeah. All right, so moving towards the next question. Next question is here. Yes, next question is here for you, my dear one. See, next question is which of the following statements? Okay, which of the following statements about the Canterbury Tales? About whom? About the Canterbury Tales is true. So, following statement the general prologue is appended to the Canterbury Tales. Or in all, Chaucer tells 30 tales in this work. Or the Canterbury Tales remained unfinished at the time of its author's death. Or the wife, the wife of Bath, the clerk, Sir Gawain, and the Franklin are characters and characters and tale tellers in this work. Option C, option C, option C. Yes, let's see the right answer. Option C is the right answer. This statement about Canterbury Tales is true. Canterbury Tales remained unfinished at the time of its author's death. Yes. See, see, there is no need for the further clarification of this kind of questions because we have already discussed in detail in our batch live. Along with that, I have discussed about Canterbury Tales in this YouTube live sessions also, our previous live sessions. So, you can go and watch those sessions. So, it is in our list, channel list. Okay. So, next question is, next question is here, next question is, who among the following was a Catholic novelist? Who? That is, who among the following was a Catholic novelist? An intelligence officer. Who is an intelligence officer? A Catholic novelist who is an intelligence officer, a film critic and set his fictions in far away places. Set his fictions in where? In far away places, wrecked by political conflicts. Wrecked by whom? Wrecked by political conflicts. So, we have the options. Option A is Anthony Powell. Option B is Evelyn Bow. Option C is William Golding. And option D is Graham Green. Yes. Answer please guys. See, but not sure. Okay. Even it is C. But we are not sure. Okay, let's check the answer. See, D is the right answer. Graham Green is the right answer. Okay, Graham Green is the right answer for this. No worries, no worries. So, moving towards the next question. Next question is here for you guys. See. In which of the following travel books does Mark Twain give an account of his visit to India? In which of the following travel books does Mark Twain give an account of his visit to India? Mark Twain. A tramp abroad, roughing it in, in innocence abroad, the innocence abroad, the following, the following the equator. Yes, option C, option C, or option D, okay, option D, all right, okay, fine, so yes, option D is the right answer, okay, following the equator, all right. So, next question is here, William Blake's famous poems such as Lenten, The Sick Rose and A Tiger appear in where? William Blake's famous poems such as Lenten, The Sick Rose and The Tiger appear in where? We have the option Songs of Innocence, 
songs of experience, the marriage of heaven and hell, vision of the daughters of Albion. Yes, the answer is option B. Yeah, option B. Okay, let's see. See the right answer is option B. Okay, the right answer is option B. Songs of experience. Okay, songs of experience. All right. Okay, moving towards the next question. See, who among the following English artists illustrated the novels of Dickens and Scott? Who among the following English artists illustrated the novels of Dickens and Scott? So, we have the options. Option A is Richard Hogarth. Option B is Joshua Reynolds. Option C is George Krushank. And option D is John Tenniel. What is the answer for this, guys? Yes. Sunita, Maria. Shall we answer? A, okay, B, all right, if it is A or B, okay, let's check, see the answer is option C, okay, George Krushin, Krushan, okay, George Krushan is the right answer for this, C, next question is, the last of Gulliver's travels, the, la the last of Gulliver's travels is to what? Option A, the land of the Huna, that is land of the Hunams, the land of the Homo sapiens, the land of hurricanes and the new found land. The last of Gulliver's travels is which? Yes, what is the last unit of Gulliver's travels? Tell me the right answers guys. Yes, tell me the right answer, guys. Yes. Option A, option A, option A. Okay. Okay, let's see. See, option A is the right answer. Very good. Option A is the right answer. Very good. Yeah. Moving towards the next question. Madam Merle is a character in? Madam Merle is a character in? So, we have the options. The Great Gatsby, the Portrait of a Lady, the Jungle, the Heart is a Lonely Hunter. Yes, Madame Marley is a character in The Great Gatsby, The Portrait of a Lady, The Jungle, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. Yes, tell me the answer. Yeah, but not sure. You are not sure? Okay. Let's check.
ऑप्शन ए ओके Okay, let's see the right answer. Right answer is option B. Okay, right answer is option B. The portrait of a lady. Okay, the portrait of a lady. All right. So the right next question is here. In which of the following scenes of the wasteland do we have a departure from standard English? In which of the following scenes of wasteland do we have a departure from standard English? So the answer is the typist scene, the pub scene, the hyacinth garden scene, the chapel perilous scene. Yes, Mariam, Sunita, tell me the answer. Yes. No idea, no problem. I can understand the pub scene in this pub scene. This is very unique question. That's why I added. Okay, in the pub side. Yeah, go with B. Yeah, in the pub scene. Yes. Next question is here. The words, if it were done, when it's done, then were well, or it were done quickly, are uttered by whom? The words, if it were done, when it's done, then where well, it were done quickly. So, we have the options here. Options are Hamlet, King Lear, Othello, Macbeth. Yes, option D. Option D is the right answer. Okay, option D. Is it option D? Okay. Yes, Macbeth is the right answer. Very good. Macbeth is the right answer. Right answer. Yeah. So, guys, just see our toppers of 2022-2023. Just I want to see. Have you, uh, anybody attended MP set examination? Anybody attended MP set examination? Yeah? Okay, I think in my, uh, in this time, yeah, okay. Uh, so, if anybody is watching this video and anybody attended MP set examination and anybody qualified, just drop a message here. And if you didn't qualify, then I am with you guys. If you want any, any, any case, cutoff markers 188, you got 180. Oh, Sunita just miss. Oh my god, four only six marks, right? Don't worry, Sunita, we can go for another, another examination. And this December UGC net us for you, Sunita. You will get, you will get UGC net. Don't worry about that. And guys, just like her, if you are not qualified and if you want to know the tricks and things that you you want to qualify for your set net gate examination, just contact us and just pin a just drop a message in the message box. Okay, message comment box. Alrighty, all right. Don't worry, Sunita. Don't worry, dear. Don't worry. Okay, this is competitive examination and make sure that you won't repeat the mistakes you did again. Okay, in your examination, then you will crack. You can. Okay, don't worry. So, moving towards the next question. John Dryden's Absalom and Achitophel is a what? Is a religious tract or is it a political allegory? Or is it a comic verse epic or is it a comedy? 
option B is the right answer. Yes. Is it option B the right answer? Political allegory. Okay, fine. Yes. Let us take the right answer. Yes, option B is the right answer. Absalom and Akito fell as a political allegory, obviously. Right. Next question is here. The term the comedy of menace is associated with the early plays of. The term the comedy of menace is associated with the early plays of what? We have the options Arnold Wesker, John Arden, Harold Pinter, David Hare. Yes, Arnold Wesker, John Arden, Harold Pinter, David Hare. So, yes, Chandan, Chandan Pandey, right? Chandan, B is the right answer for this. Comedy of Menes, yes, Harold Pinter is the right answer. Okay, C is the right answer. See, Comedy of Menes, the birthday party is the best example of Comedy of Menes of Harold Pinter. So, Harold Pinter is a repeated question. Before going to your examination, just go and read Harold Pinter's birthday party and all the plays, summary of all the plays. Just remember the opening lines, just remember the act, name of acts, just remember the things. Okay, just remember the things uh, that is, yes, characters, their relationships, just like that. Okay, they can ask Harold Pinter any time. Alright, so moving towards the next question. Examine. Next question is, examine the following statements and identify one of them which is not true. Examine the following statements and identify one of them which is not true. So, we have the options Rudyard Kipling died in the year 1936. He was born in India but schooled in England. He returned to India as a police constable in Burma. He is the author of Jungle Book and Barrack Room Ballads. Yes, option C. Option C, Sunita. Okay, Mariam is also with option C. All right, let's check the answer. See, he returned to India as a police constable in Burma. Yes, that is the right answer. Option C is the right answer. Okay. Option C is the right answer for this. All right. So, moving towards next question. Moving towards the next question. Name the poet who chooses his successor and the successor poet who Dryden satir satirizes in his famous poem. Very, very, very silly question. James Shirley and Christ Shirley, Henry Trace and Charles Tristan, Richard Flecknoe and Thomas Shadwell, Thomas Percy and Samuel Pepys. Tell me the right answer, guys. Yeah. C, 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 right? All right. Yes, Chandan, yes, Sridha, yes, Mariam. Option C is the right answer. Very good. So, moving towards next question. Thomas Love Pico classified poetry into four periods. Very important question. Thomas Love Pico, Thomas Love Pico classified poetry into four periods. Which are they? Carbon, gold, silver, brass or brass, silver, gold and diamond or iron, gold, silver and brass or gold, platinum, silver and diamond. Yes. Maria. Option C. Option D. Okay, fine. Let's see the right answer. 
no idea but you are going with option option b okay option c is the right answer iron gold silver brass okay iron gold silver brass all right okay so yes next question is here which among the following novels has more than one ending so more than one among one ending which novel so we have the options option a is lucky jim option b is the prime of jean brody option c is the french lieutenant's woman and option d is the clockwork orange yes tell me the answer option d the clockwork orange option d the clockwork orange okay fine let's dis let's see see option c is the right answer okay option c is the right answer the french lieutenant's woman okay yeah moving towards next question next question is here see you have seen you have seen how a man was made a slave Okay, you have seen how a man was made a slave. You shall see how a slave was made a man. As an example of what? As an example of what? See, bathos, epistrophe, chiasmus, anticlimax. Bathos, epistrophe, chiasmus, anticlimax. Yes? Option D. Option C. Okay, all right. Okay, option C, but not sure. All right. Any other options? Any other answer? Any other answer? Okay, let's see the right answer. C. Yes. Chiasmus is the right answer. Okay, C is the right answer. All right. Yes. Next question is, which of the following state statements? Okay, which of the following statements is not correct? Statement is not correct. Chaucer used the rhyme royal, a stanza form in some of his major poems. Chaucer was the author of the legend of good women. Chaucer wrote an English when court poetry of his day was written in Anglo-Norman and Latin. Chaucer wrote the book named The Governor. Tell me the answer, guys. Yeah. Tell me the answer. Option D. Chaucer wrote the book named The Governor. Okay. Everyone is going with option D. Okay, if everyone is going with option D, then let's see. See, option D is the right answer. Yes, Chaucer used rhyme royal. Chaucer was the author of Legend of Good Women. He authored. Chaucer wrote English when the court poetry of his day was written in Anglo Norman and Latin. That is very, very, very true. So D is not true. Okay, fine. Next question it is material feminism studies inequality in terms of what? Material is material feminism. Only gender, only class, both class and gender, only patriarchy. Tell me the answer. Whether it is only gender, whether it is only class, or whether it is both class and gender, or only patriarchy. Okay, option C. Mariam's answer is option C. Okay. Chandan's answer is option C. Okay. Sunidhan's answer is option C. All right. All right. So let's see. See? Option C is the right answer. Okay, option C is the right answer, both class and gender. 
both what both class and gender all right so moving towards the next question next question is who among the following is not an irish writer who among the following is not an irish writer so oscar wilde oliver goldsmith edmund burke thomas gray is not an irish writer yes instant reply from chandan it is option d thomas gray okay any other option yes sunita mariam okay let's see so the answer is option d okay answer is option d okay thomas gray very good next question is entries in the diary of samuel pepys begin after entries in the samuel pepys pepys begins yes the diary of samuel pepys begins begins after the restoration the glorious revolution the reformation or the french revolution tell me the answer yes option a right okay option a the restoration okay option a the restoration okay any other options any other options mariam option a okay okay let's see the answer is option a restoration very good mariam option a restoration very good yeah next question is here in a poem a line may either be end stopped or in a poem a line may either be end stopped or rhymed broken accented run on what will be the answer for this very simple question what will be the answer for this yes option d okay yes option d is the right answer run down okay so moving towards the next question which of the following poets wrote the essay vs naipaul that is naipaul's india and mine which of the following poets wrote the essay naipaul's india and mine so we have the options here kamla das r parthasarathi ak ramanujam nizam ezekiel option b option b okay let's see c d nizam ezekiel okay option d nizam ezekiel okay option d nizam is correct all right okay so guys with this i am so we have completed almost uh, i think almost uh, 45 right 40 to 45 questions we have completed in this single session within a one hour raftar series so by this class i am just concluding the raftar series from monday onwards we will start the conceptual classes once again so your notifications are all already out so you can check what will be the next upcoming classes okay upcoming classes what will be the upcoming classes and we will start streaming from 4:30 
Okay, we will start the streaming from 4.30 onwards from Monday. So, till then, so from Monday, so Monday the date is 27th, right? So, you have only two weeks. From 27th, I think you have only one week for your preparation. So, don't worry about that. If you are suffering, if you are facing any problem, then please tell me. And can I wind up this session? Yes, Mariam, Sunita. Chandan, so thank you so much for participating in this interactive session. And guys, if you are watching the, this video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe this channel. And if you think this video is very useful, then don't hesitate to share this video to your friends and co aspirants. And give me likes also if you like this video. Okay, okay, Sunita, Mariam, Chandan, so see you on Monday at 4 30 pm. So, yes. Bye. See you. Bye.